working for you. A weekly talk radio program which highlights developments of national interest and the activities of your St. Kitts Davis government. Join host Les Roy Williams as he presents news, views, reports, and interviews about everything regarding the activities of the Team Unity government and the building of our communities and the development of St. Kitts Davis. Tune in and call in to interact with your government and share your views regarding the upward forward development of your community and our beautiful Twin Island Federation. Working for you is weekly, every Wednesday live from 1.30 p.m. to 3 p.m. on ZIZ Radio, Win FM, and Sugar City FM with we broadcast on participating stations. Working for you. Welcome to another edition of Working for You. This is the weekly radio show where the people of St. Kitts and Nevis can interact with their government. The Team Unity Government is for and by the people. I am your host, Les Roy Williams. Hardworking, statesman, gentleman, intelligent, consensus builder, a man of his word, are all words to describe our guests today. Today, we are honored to have the Honorable Minister, Eugene Hamilton, whose ministries include agriculture, health, national health insurance, human settlement, community development, gender affairs, social services, land, and cooperation. Wow. How do you manage all of this, Minister? Welcome to this program. <laughs> well, good afternoon, uh, Mr. Williams, and to all of your listeners, good afternoon to you as well. I want to thank you for the invitation to join you on this show. As you're aware, last week I was to join you, and I was also scheduled to be away this week, mm -hmm. but I thought it was important to cancel that trip that I was making, important as it was. And to turn up this week to be part of this program with you. This is an important program where we get an opportunity to communicate with the people who sent us to government to be able to inform them how we are carrying out our mandate that they have given to us. I want to say a special hello, shout out to those persons in constituency number eight and to thank them for their prayers and for the support that they have given to me to be a member of this government. Yes, you're right. My portfolio is a large one, but I don't like to view it as large. As a, as a portfolio that requires uh, the, 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 the minister and his supporting cast of, of workers to respond to the challenges that the nation calls us to respond to. It is the prosperity agenda that we are set about to, to fulfill. And I'm grateful that I've committed uh, myself and the people around me to work very diligently every day on the people's agenda, including my minister, Wendy Phipps, who is, as you know, a minister of state in the ministry um, with some portfolios under her responsibility. I know that she is a very hard worker as well. Uh, in fact, this morning, uh, before I got out of my house, she was already on the ball with a problem that surfaced at the hospital and dealt with it. So you know, she's a hard worker as well. And this portfolio, as I said, it is large, but it is I see it as a challenge to be able to deliver what the people of St. Kitts and Nevis has elected us to deliver. Key among them, I, I, I'm sure you mentioned them already, but key among those ministries is the Ministry of Agriculture. You know how important agriculture is to a developing nation. You also know how important health is. Health is part of my ministry as well. Um, whereas people can postpone things, maybe in agriculture or other fields, in health, when you get sick, there's nothing to postpone. Mm -hmm. So health is an important ministry in all of this. And of course, we have the National Health Insurance. As you know, I have been an advocate 
for comprehensive national health insurance. It is something which, by 2016, I want to have in place in the state so that persons who are less fortunate than some, maybe even less fortunate than myself, who would not have the kind of coverage to be able to deliver health services to themselves can be afforded that opportunity. I always recall the story, Les Roy, of a young man from Keys who was only 34 and who had an, op an operation uh, which was considered to be a very successful operation. And he was required to travel to Trinidad and Tobago to pursue, well, to have third 21 cycles of chemotherapy, 21 cycles, costing him more than 30,000 US dollars. A young man who could not afford it, an ordinary man, a fisherman. And here he was, not being able to afford it, circulating the country with a sheet of paper to ask for contributions. And before he could get the treatment, he died a painful death. That always stay with me. And that is why I want to see comprehensive insurance for all the people who think it's in the